What's up guys, King Bimo TV here. Uh, we're gonna do a, another sealed for Outlaws of Thunder Junction. I'm kind of hoping my pool isn't that good. So we could, it could be really good on Saturday for the Arena Open, we'll see. Um, we'll take a look, but yeah, we'll do some sealed prep. Uh, take a second, like the video, really appreciate it. Uh, leave some comments. Let me know if you built my pool wrong. Pool looks great. This pool is insane. I mean, I don't know it's insane, right? But the rares are good. Uh, yeah, there's no way I'm going to get a pool, good pool in the arena open. I understand the cards I open in today's video have no bearing on the cards I open on Saturday. But uh, we have Bonnie Paul, which is an absolute bomb. It is double blue, but it's an absolute bomb. We have Flibble Flib, which is pretty good. Forget these two cards. Bristly Bill is really good. Um, it's not like insane game breaking, but it's it's a two mana two two right. It can only be so good, but it's really good. Railway Brawler is a total bomb. Uh, Thoughtseize is just great, right? Hostile Investigator is so good. This card's better than it looks. Your opponent will discard cards so much more than you think. If they cycle something, if you're black, like you have another card that probably makes your opponent discard at some point. Um, if they, not that there's a lot of blood tokens, but if they sack a blood token, they discard a card. There's a lot. This really triggers more than you think it would. Um, really nice card. Ornery Tumblewag is really good. Outcaster Trailblazer is good. Uh, just like four green rares, two black rares, and then a green blue rare. I mean, awesome. Let's let's see what we open. Like, you know, it's not just the only thing we have going on, but. You know, Golga Golgari or Soltai looks pretty good right now. Um, you know, what you want to do is you look at your pool, and it's probably not going to be super obvious like it is for us right now what we should be. But just looking at our white, what what cards do we kind of want to play? Sealed is slower than draft, so you have to keep that in mind. Um, you want to play your bombs for sure. You want to go through each color and see what strengths you have each of the colors. Um, so let's like... Lullaby is a solid playable. Retribution is good. Medic is good. Take up the shield is great. Arnix is okay. Holy Cow is okay. Stagecoach, stagecoach security is good if you're kind of aggressive. So, like, we have a couple of good white cards. Blue. Canyon Crab is good, right? Haunting is good. Failed Forwarding is okay. Deep Walk Mes Desperado is not great. Filble Flib is good. Geyser Drake is fine. Nimble Brigand is good. Season Secrets is good. Don't love Thunder Thief. Stop Cold's good. So blue's like okay, right? Uh, I think this our blue is better than our white at this point. Looking at both of these, uh, black miner's good. Skullduggery is good. Thoughtseize is good. Two blood uh, blood hustlers. That's a good one. Uh, blood Seeker's good. Dirge is not great. Mourner Surprise is good. Neutralize the guards. Uh, if you're playing best of three, this is a card you want to factor in because it's pretty good if you're playing like a Boros deck or something. Uh, Hostile Investigator is super good. I don't think this is good. Sack any number of permanents. Draw that many cards. Yeah, this isn't good. Robber is good. So it's pretty clear our black is strong, right? Stronger than our white. Stronger than our blue. Going to red. Nice removal spell. We have two. Uh, th two thunder salvos. I mean, this this is a pretty good pool. Uh, not very deep with red though, right? We have some good removal, right? So splashing red, maybe. You know, let's see our gold cards. Um, triple red, no thanks. Don't know what it does. Mine raiders fine. Peddlers fine, but red not very deep. You know, even the lackeys fine, but uh, not very deep. So red's probably out. I would say red and white look out right now. Uh, green ankle biters good snakeskin veils good bristly bill good two hard bristle bandits oh god this pool's so good uh outcaster trailblazer drover grizzly's fine especially with trailblazer if we have a few cards that are looking for creatures power four or greater like if we got like a jolene or something like that jolene or roxanne i know we didn't open roxanne but uh definitely one to consider possum's okay Roll, Railway Brawler is a total bomb. Cactarantula is really good. So green's very strong. You could even throw these in there too. Gem Lightfoot is good, but our white's not great. Tyrant Scorn's good, but our blue's like maybe. So if we do end up playing um, 
Soltai, then I think it's worth playing Tyrant Scorn. Let's put this here. We have an Eroded Canyon, Festering Gulch, Slick Sequence, Rutstein's great, Back from More is great. Yeah, we have a really good Soltai deck here. Uh, Make Your Own Luck is good. I wouldn't say it's great. We have a Green-White Land here. Conduit Pylons. Yeah, Bonnie Paul is one of those cards that I'm like, alright, should I end up playing or not? It's super duper good, but it's double blue. So we don't have any of the Tumbleweed card for fixing. Bend, it's good, but it's not permanent, right? It's a 1-1, one, one, so... And our mana base for lands, we have Festering Gulch, but that's not a blue land, right? So that won't help us play any blue spells. Um, so it it looks like me prob probably Golgari, um, but potentially also adding the blue for um, Bonnie Pal. So let's be a little bit more stringent with what we think is good and what is bad. And let's just... Um, Let's start with Golgari, adding the best green and black cards, and then we'll try to add some blue cards too. All right, Miner's really good. We have to make sure we're committing enough crimes. So let's let's leave that off for now. Thoughtseize is in. Blood Hustler's definitely in. Blood Seeker's definitely in. So that's that's five crimes right there. Sorry, four crimes right there. Uh, I think Miner's probably okay given that. Skullduggery, I'm a good, I'm a big fan of. Maybe we'll play two, maybe we'll play one. I like Mourner's Surprise a lot. I like this card a lot. Robber's fine. So we're being a little picky with our black cards. We could just play these, maybe Forsaken Miner. Let's look at green. Biter's pretty strong. It's good if you have like some bite spells. But uh, if we are playing three colors, we don't necessarily need a one mana one one. Snakeskin Veil, we like a lot. Bristly Bill, yes. Hard Bristle Bandits for sure, for sure, especially if we're playing three colors. Tumblewag, yes. Trailblazer, yes. See how many creatures we have with power four or greater. It's probably fine to play anyway, right? It's a three mana four two. It's essentially Drover Grizzly. We have Robber, we have Investigator, we have this, we have Brawler, we have the Cactus. So we're, we're doing pretty good there. So I think we want to play this, and we'll also value Drover Grizzly a little higher because of that. So let's add the Brawler. Let's add the Cactarantula. Double green is kind of tough. I would say that is the weak point in our in our um, pool is the fixing, right? We don't have, we have one on color land if we're going to play three colors right now. So uh, not amazing. We add Honest Rustine, which is great. We add Back from War, which is pretty good as well. Especially, you know, you're targeting Railway Brawler, bringing that back. Same thing with Cactarantula. Uh, yeah, I think we want to play blue. So this is 19. 19, we're being pretty picky with our cards. If we look at what blue cards we're going to add, kind of the same logic. We're being picky with them. Canyon Crab is really nice. Haunting is really nice. Fording is okay. Flibble Flib is really good, but it is double blue, so that makes it a lot harder to cast. Uh, Nimble Brigand's really good, so the Secrets is fine. Um, yeah, I wish our mana base was a little better. Casting double green and double blue cards in this deck will be a bit hard, but Bonnie Paul is seven, seven mana, right? So it's double blue at seven lands. So it's not that ridiculous that double blue at seven lands. I do wish we had one of the Tumbleweeds card. I don't really want to play Oasis Gardener, but if we are three colors, it wouldn't really hurt. If we had more deserts, I'd probably play Silver Deputy, but if we just really have one we want to play... Um, yeah, I, this pool's like one or two deserts away from being like perfect, I think. And it's like, how greedy do we want to get? I think I'm definitely playing blue. Because we do have some good ones, even if we're not playing like the Bonnie Paul. But I don't think there's a world in which you play blue and you don't play Bonnie Paul. Because it's really good. So let's play Pylons for some fixing. Let's play Oasis Gardener, probably. Um, definitely Bonnie Paul. 
Uh, Gulch is good. We could think about playing this as just like green to commit a crime, which will work good with um, Bloodseeker. Sorry, Blood Hustler. What else do we have? We have to see if it's worth it, right? Are we going to play Tapland because for only Blood Hustler? No, we are not. So that's really it. So no, we are not. Now, if we decide we're also playing minor, then maybe we consider it. But I don't think we're going to play either. So um, I think make your own luck is probably worth playing, especially given we have all these really six drop, six drop, six drop, five drop. Like make your own luck is pretty good with that. Draw three, exile non-land from among the three. Uh, if you do, it becomes plotted. So if you draw three lands, it doesn't do anything. And that, that does happen. It has happened to me. It's happened to my opponents. So uh, let's add the Tyrant Scorn. Nice little removal spell. Brigand's really good. See, we could be really picky here. Like Fibble Flib. It's still pretty good late in the game, right? If we play this on turn six, it's still good. So definitely something to consider. Seize the Secrets. That's kind of the crime thing. Do we want to play it just as a uh, divination? Maybe, maybe not. Stop cold is an okay removal spell. How are we doing on removal? Let's take a look. Removal is important. Back from more is removal. It costs six though. What else do we have? Tyrant Scorn. And Skullduggery, so not great. We could probably use Stop Cold in our deck. I like Canyon Crab. I like Haunting. Now we're at 27 cards without any, uh, without Flip Flip. flip. Failed Forwarding would be okay. Yeah, I think, I don't think we want to add any more of these. I think these are probably all the playables we have in our deck, but we're at 27. 27 is too much. We want to get down to 23, 17 lands. Did I type that in right? Okay, so we have 17 creatures, so we can cut some creatures if we need to. What do we have that's a little loose? Okay, we don't really need two Skullduggeries. One is probably enough. Uh, Thoughtseize is definitely good. It's very good, but it's not great if you draw it late in the game, but I think it's still worth playing. Um, what are we at now? We're at 26, so we've cut three cards. I like sorting creatures versus not creatures. Uh, that's just that's something I like to do. Blood Hustler, are we committing that many crimes? So that's a crime... Bloodseeker is a crime. Blood Hustler itself is a crime. Oh, we have no Nimble Brigand is a crime as well, right? When I was counting crime cards before. Like cards that benefit from crimes. I think if we had another white desert, I might even consider playing like Buried in the Garden. I kind of I kind of am right now, <laughs> to be honest. But I'd be adding more playables. Um, I think I think you could try to get pretty greedy here and play this Heath. Maybe play Gem um, Lightfoot as well, and just really hope you draw a hard bristle band today, ASAP. Let's do it. Let's get greedy, right? We'll add uh, add. Three more cards here. Uh, sorry, two two more playable white cards. All right, we got to be a little bit tighter here now. We do we added a removal spell, which is nice. Uh, okay, like and you're playing Oasis Garden here is like, ugh. but um, I think it's good. Blood Hustler's nice. This is tough to make these cuts, man. This is tough. It's nice you have infinite time to make this, but. Not very entertaining for me to take infinite time, though, right? Uh, I can, Haunting's really nice. We're certainly not like the blue-white do-nothing deck, but we are playing uh, Gem Lightfoot here. I 
think I might cut Thoughtseize. Uh, kind of want to cut stop. Uh, get rid of stop cold as well. It is pretty expensive. I'm gonna cut a blood hustler. It's nice, but I don't think we're committing that many crimes. Although it is kind of a good grindy late game card, right? I definitely feel like we have enough four drops to make Outcaster Trailblazer pretty good. This is hard, man. This is really hard. We're at 27. We have to cut four cards. We're not even close to cutting four cards. That's what we get for being greedy. All right. I'll cut Stop Cold, Out Cold. We'll cut a Blood Hustler. That's two... Rick is robber's fine, but it's not amazing. All right, that's one more cut, right? Three. Okay, one more cut. I, I do really love snakeskin veil, but maybe maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's haunting. Sixteen creatures. Yeah, I think this is our deck. It's definitely a little greedy. Really have to hope we draw Hard Bristle Bandit, but if we do, <laughs> we'll be okay. If we play Hard Bristle Bandit or Oasis Gardener or Buried in the Garden, we should be okay. So um It looks fun. I'd be happy with this pool on Saturday for sure. Um we just gotta figure out our mana now, so Three lands. I think we could play. We have two white cards. I think we could play one planes. So that's three white sources plus bandit plus oasis gardener. And then our other colors we have it's 13, 8, and 6. Let's do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Gives us seven green sources, six black sources, five blue sources. And we have double blue and double green. So it's definitely not another swamp. It's either uh, a forest or an island. If we add a forest, I might even cut a swamp actually. Cut a swamp, add. I think this is good. Eight, eight green sources, six blue, five black, three white. All right, yeah, I mean, this is greedy. It's a greedy pool, but you know what? This format's slow. Let's get greedy. Let's play our bombs. Um, I don't even want to look at these white cards. Be like, oh, I can play take up the shield, but nope. Stop, <laughs> stop. Let's let's stick to this. Okay. Tutor nine sixty. So seemingly the competition in these sealed pools are a little bit weaker than um, when we actually get to it on Saturday, but. We'll see. Uh, Condo Pylons is good. Nice to have in our starting hand because um, we have all of our colors essentially. So I'm going to play a forest first. I try to scry later in the game. I don't like scrying early. I feel like I don't know what to do with the first card I see. It's like no matter what I get, I'll be like, do I need that? I don't think so. Do I need that? Yeah, let's <laughs> let's take it. Uh, Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's play this now, I guess. See, like I'm like, do I need that? <laughs> you know, I'm like maybe, right? Uh, nah. Okay, we already have black and green, so hopefully this uh, raucous entertainer doesn't go off on us. Our our hand is a little slow. Okay, do they have a land? Probably a desert, right? 
That's my guess. Desert. No land. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so we can only play our Blood Hustler here. So that's what we'll do. So hopefully they miss another land drop here. No, nope, not so lucky. Are they going to play the fight spell? Throw from the saddle? Doesn't seem great here, but... Won't complain. Do they have the 4-2 Grizzly? What is this guy doing? Do they have a counter spell? Alright, I'll walk into it. No, oh, they don't have it. Okay. Cool. So, four mana, four, three, you discard a card, I investigate. Every time you discard a card, I investigate. They discard hell to pay. Okay. <laughs> they got their red. I bet they just drew that. 100% sure they just drew that. Uh, I think we'll cast Make Our Own Luck next turn. We're sitting pretty comfortable here. We're not going to get out-tempoed, or it doesn't seem like we're going to get out-tempoed here. Alright, yeah, let's do it. Let's play Make Your Own Luck, and then maybe we could play uh, Gem Lightfoot next turn. <laughs> Okay, yeah, these are pretty good. Look at these cards we just drew, my god. So we play this next turn, we have a 6-5 and a 6-6. Six, six. For no mana. They are plotting Spinewoods Paladin. They're really trying to get all their equity out of these. Alright, we have six mana. Uh, Tumblewag. Brigand, Bonnie Pal. Uh, we're like so far ahead, right? Let's pump up uh, this guy. Bang, bang, bang. Bonnie Pal's so good, guys. So tumble wag. Uh, when it attacks while saddled, double the amount of plus one plus one counters on target creature. So I can put a third on this next turn and then double it. So it'll become an 8-8. Eight, eight. We can bury it in the garden any creature they play. Paladin. Alright, this will be their big turn, right? Our big turn is way better than their big turn, though. So I'm thinking we'll bury in the garden the paladin. And uh, maybe kill them. I mean, we'll have Skullduggery mana open too. So yeah, this is a really good pool. It's very fortunate. You guys should all hope for this pool on Saturday. I hope you guys all get this pool on Saturday. And I hope we don't play each other. Okay. Looks good. Another plot. What do we got now? 4-3? Okay. Alright. Buried in the garden... Uh, I don't know. Target a swamp. 
Oh, we don't have the white for buried in the garden. No, oh, I added too much mana? Great. <laughs> Glad it's my first day, right? Uh, should we just waste this mana? There's no there's no wrath in any of their colors, so oh, I didn't mount it. I I'm just like so far ahead. I should have mounted this. I did not. So I'm I'm not gonna attack with it. But really, I should probably count. Hey, is this lethal? Like if they block? Okay. Well, now it's lethal. Okay. So yeah, our deck's really powerful. So good start for us. Okay, Cardinal. So our first first uh, hand a little slow, but but got there eventually. Our turn five was really good when we uh, played the blue green draw three card and plotted Bonnie Paul, Bonnie Pal, Tall Paul. Is it Paul? I feel like Tall Paul it looks so tall in the picture. I don't know. We have our bandit, which is good. Still would like some other mana here just to be safe. Outlaw medic. Okay, so we can plot this next turn or, or play hostile investigators. I think we're going to plot this next turn. And the reason I want to plot this next... Oh, sorry. I think I want to play this next next turn. And the reason I want to do that is because this will untap and I'll have one black open for Skull, Skullduggery. Just in case they cast uh, like throw from the saddle, we can mess them up there. They discard, take the fall. We would like another land here. Buried in the garden. Okay. Okay. So we can make Outlaw Medic a 0-2 uh, and block with our 2-2 two -two and kill it. And then they draw a card. I don't really see much value in that, so I think we'll just take 4. Let's hope we draw a land here. We did not draw land here, but we can plot this. That's probably good, right? We'll plot this. The next turn we can play Gem Lightfoot as a 6-6. Six, six. Just hope we don't get too wrecked before then. Again, looks like our hand's going to be a little slow if we play aggressive decks. Our deck's going to be a little slow if we play aggressive decks, but... Dijin... Okay, so this is good. Okay, cool. So we could actually play Cactarantula. No, we cannot. Sorry, I lied. Alright, let's play this guy. We play Gem Lightfoot, and we have Skullduggery Man open. The old 6-6 six, six Flying Vigilance. It may be obvious to them that we have Skullduggery. Okay. Uh, we should win this game. Alright, let's uh, three. Play Gulch. Play Cactarantula. Oh, we actually don't even have to tap the Bristle Bandit now, right? That is a big creature. Uh, let's attack with the 6-6. Six, six. Let's not risk our Railway Brawler. Put them to 16. We have a 12 11 reach. Okay. They're playing Razzle Dazzler, Oryx. Okay, this looks like uh, we got this game under control. Alright, let's attack. Okie dokie. 
So if I do nothing, I'll draw a card, right? Um, yeah, I think we'll just pass here. We have our clue token, we have Skullduggery, we have Tyrant Scorn. Okay. Draw a card. Blood Hustler. Okay, let's play Blood Hustler. Just just a two two. Play Brigand. Two four. Sure. Okay, they could kill our 6-6 six, six potentially here. We have Skullduggery too. Don't know what that one does. The owner of target spell, non permanent, or card in graveyard puts it on the top or bottom of their library. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll keep that on top. Okie dokie. Alright, Townsfolk is getting big. Not as big as our creatures, but pretty big. Alright, let's play Cactarantula. Okay, let's keep uh, keep swinging with the six six here. Okay. Take the fall, okay. That's, that's kind of awkward, but... They could have Wrath right there, white, so we've got to keep that in mind. There are Wraths in the format, and if somebody opens a Wrath, they're probably going to play it. Okay. Wonder if they attack with the Razzle Dazzler here. Interesting play. All right, do we have lethal here? If we kill trained Aryx, that's one less blocker, and we, one of our creatures gets unblockable. It's probably not lethal. Could just ping Blood Hustler as well. Ping with Blood, Blood Hustler as well.
Right, they go to two. And we have Blood Hustler mana open. Are they saying good game to me? I'm going to play around their good game right now and cast Buried in the Garden on their Vengeful Town Folk. Unless they have the card that makes their creature... They could have the, town the card that makes their creature unblockable. Yeah, they. I'm not sure why they said good game there, but they have an 8-8. There's that, that blue spell, that time ebb something. It puts a creature on the top or bottom of your library and makes something unblockable. We would have lost to that card. So I would not have done that if you didn't say good game. I wish I knew what they had in their hand to see if that was like a next level play for me or not. But um, that's at least my, my thought process on that one. All right, Leah. Uh, looks good, I think. I mean, our first thing is a 4-drop, and we're on the draw, so that's not good. Our opponent playing a mountain on turn one's a little scary, too. I'd much rather it be an island, I think. Uh. Alright, so, 4 is still our earliest drop here. Alright, that's cool. It's nice they did nothing on turn three. So we get Brawler next turn. If they do nothing, we'll just play Brawler. We'll plot Brawler next turn. Quill Charger. This becomes a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, I guess we just play, play Brawler here. And then next turn we'll play Cactarantula as in a 12... A what is it, a 12? Yeah, it's a 12, right? A 12, 11. Reach. That has to attack. So it doesn't work this turn. All right. I have the size. But they have menace. Okay, we untapped. That's probably a win, right? Uh, Would have been nice if we drew a land. Make your own luck doesn't do anything for us this turn, but Bristle Bandit and Blood Hustler don't either. I think Investigator is just probably fine. Maybe we just really want to go wide, right, and play both of these? Yeah, I guess we'll just go wide. That'll give us at least one extra mana next turn, too. Alright, we go to 11. How much is the... This is Saddle 2. Okay, so Mercenary can't Saddle that. Alright, that does nothing. Alright, we have Bonnie Powell mana open now. Yeah, probably just play Bonnie Powell. Another huge creature. So we want to draw a, uh, a desert. All right, we are going to attack with our Cactarantula. So we get a trigger here. We still have two Reach creatures, 
and we officially have more creatures, uh, the same amount of creatures as them. So, just just take twelve. We go to ten. So there is the uh, they can give all their creatures plus two plus O oh, with that one card and plus three, red and two. Let's give all your creatures plus two plus O oh. if you control an outlaw. I think you like exile top card of your library and you can play it this turn. All right, they kill her five five, which is fine because we have back for more. Yeah, not really fair. Not really a fair game. Just a total blowout. I think we kill the Shepherd here. We may even kill the Duelist. Okay, just an absolute massacre that game, I think. Well, not necessarily, right? Because we were we were at seven. We were on the fence a bit. On the ropes. I say on the fence when I mean on the ropes a lot. Let's keep up the winning. Chef Franco. Chef Franco. Uh, we'll keep. Uh, looks actually really good. Um, we draw a third land. Really good. Canyon Crab into Oasis Gardener, into Buried in the Garden. Uh, if we don't draw land, we do have the Canyon Crab to loot, although I don't really want to do that. And if I do loot, I'm not sure what I want to discard. Great. Excellent. Okay, so we can't cast Buried in the Garden. Um, but it's okay, I think. If we draw... And we can cast that. I'm going to pump itself up. Double down. Awesome. Whenever you cast an outlaw spell, copy that spell. That's exciting. Um, we're going to loot this turn. All right. Let's, uh, let's saddle this guy up here. Target itself, double the amount of counters on itself, so it's a 6-6. Six, six. Take 6, and then we'll loot. We don't need that, although we can cast it. I feel like we're... we're I'm really not sure. Yeah, that's a weird, weird discard, right? I can cast this next turn, so. All right, what are they going to play? What's the worst thing they could play for us? It's cool they're playing this on turn four. I kind of hope they blow me out, but. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put that on the bottom. Oh no! All right, we have to return that to our hand. Yeah, that that, that <laughs> we we need Oasis Gardener. So they don't draw a card there, which is nice. Like we could have Mourner surprised it, right? But like, nah. Oh my god. All right. I mean, we're playing four colors, right? This this stuff happens, right? <sighs> Casting nothing this turn, huh? Uh, so we can plot railway brawler. I am going to do that. Because they might have a counter spell. 
given they have so much mana up, so like let's just avoid that 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 issue. I think I'm gonna discard Snakeskin Veil here, depending on what we draw. Yeah. Okay, so we made the right choice, right? They have a counterspell. Had a counterspell. I don't know if I'm scared of double Razzle Dazzler or not. I'm a little scared of double Razzle Dazzler. I like how much health we have, but... Alright, let's play it. We can cast Bonnie Paul here, so even if they counter Railway Brawler, we're still okay. And if they do counter it here, um, we have more inner surprise. So if they if this resolves, yeah, they're in trouble. You're in trouble, friend. Played two green spells with no forest in play. Double mine raider. I wasn't sure if Double Down would trigger Razzle Dazzler, you know? But I guess you don't cast it. Just copies it, so you don't cast two spells. Cool deck for sure. Maybe not as cool as our deck, but... Oh my god. Uh, four to us. They're gonna swing attack at five. Wow, they're not even playing a second spell. That's cool. Uh, Alright, let's play land. I'm going to attack with all the big guys. In hindsight, I think I would have played Gemfoot first before attacking with the Railway Brawler. Oh, but they can't, they can't kill it anyway. Okay. Alright, play this guy here. 6-6. Six, six. Blood Hustler as well. So this can, they can hit us for 7 if they have 2 spells this game, this turn. So unless they could do damage to our face and cast 2 spells, we win. Okay, so if this is a face spell, we're dead. It is not. So we win. Unless the card they draw is a face spell. Do we lose? I don't know. I don't think we lose. Right? We swing out, they block the two big ones. They, yeah, okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to slow roll you, Chef Franco. Okay, undefeated. Let's keep it up. Definitely going to have no luck in the arena open, for sure. None. I'm going to open six lands. Six rare lands. Okay, Tokoma. Tokoma 12. Tokoma 12. Uh, we'll keep. Looks great. Just need a second land, but we got our Bristle Bandit. So we can cast Tumblewag on turn three, even if we don't draw land, and we did. So if they don't kill this and they play a creature, oh, we're going to bury it in the garden that, which is awesome. I wanted the mana here. Could have went a couple different ways, right? We could have played Brawler. Lookout is good. All right, we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. We have six mana right now. Um, I guess we just, we could plot this and then play Canyon Crab. Just gotta keep drawing creatures.
We don't mind playing Canyon Crab here because it doesn't get bigger with Railway Brawler anyway. Mine Raider. Did they miss a land drop? They did. Okay, Brawler. Double the counters. They work good together, huh? No cards in our hand. Uh, I'm going to pump up this guy. Spread the wealth. So we want to draw a crime or a creature. Um, we put a 1-1 one, one counter on Tumblewag. It'll be a 5-5, five, five, and then we'll attack with it, and we'll get three more counters. It'll be an 8-8, eight, eight, which they currently cannot kill. So I guess the what we want to draw the most is... I mean, there's so many different cards we could draw that'd be, that'd be good, right? Tyrant Scorn is good, Snakeskin Veil is good, Skullbuggery is good, any creature would be good. Um... Make your own luck would be cool. So yeah, we this really not not a land. And if if it's a land, if it's a uh, if it's our desert land to commit a crime would be good. And if we don't draw a spell, we have Canyon Crab to loot. So uh, if we do draw a land, we'll probably just not play a spell, so we can just loot it away. They still only have two, uh, four lands, sorry. Okay. All right, we'll attack with a big old tumblewag. Oh, I forgot to saddle it. Uh, it's a mistake I have made a couple times. I'm annoyed about that. Yeah, you need to saddle it before combat, so that was a mistake. I'm not going to attack with a 5-5 five, five here and just get two for one. So that was bad. We just we just gave them a turn there as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, that was bad. Yep, that was bad. Giant beaver... Okay, I mean that was going to happen either way. I thought it was a fight spell, it's a bite spell. All right, let's... To saddle this, we'd have to tap the brigand. I think it's the right play, though. So it's a 10 10. Five, three, and two. Fine with this trade. We'll play this plotted so we can loot again with Canyon Crab. And we can bring back our Railway Brawler now, which is pretty good. Okay. Uh, they have a lot of mana open. Let's attack for three. Don't know what they have here, honestly. Like, there's a pump... Okay. We'll draw. Alright, let's play our Trailblazer here.
Uh, cool. Survives the salvo. Let's pick, uh, green. Play Mourner Surprise on Railway, Railway Brawler. We'll play this. We'll draw a card from Trailblazer. Our deck's good, guys. Our deck's really good. Again, the competition will be stuffer, uh, stiffer on the Arena Open, but stuffer. I'm going to talk. But, uh, yeah, I mean, 5-0. Great, great start. Marty, Marty J. Marty J. Uh, you know, this is a hand we could have gotten like every game, right? We can't cast anything in our hand. We have to mulligan. Uh, and this is way better. So when Trailblazer enters the battlefield, add one mana of any color. So you can kind of ramp with this card, which is really weird, right? Because you plot on turn three. On turn four, you play it, and you have five mana. So I could play this and Railway Brawler, like, in the same turn. Which is so, like, it's so weird that it does that. And they plot Dust Animus, which is pretty good. If you control five or more untapped lands, enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters on it, and a lifelink counter on it. Awesome. All right, so we get a really nice turn here. Don't have to worry about them. We add green. It's pretty good for a mulligan hand too, right? We'll draw a card. Okay. Buried in the garden. All right, Railway Brawler's gone, but that's okay. It's gone for now. It's not gone for good. I think I'm going to cast, make my own luck here. We won't have the double green for Snakeskin Veil vale if we play Tumblewag. So I think we want to be thinking this game's not going to be over in two turns. Uh, that's a miss, but... We do have a crime to trigger this right away. Now we gotta deal with that guy. Okay, good turn for them. 4-5 flying lifelink into a 6-6. Six, six. Okay, Blood Hustler. Again, if we play Bandit, we don't have green. All right, let's play the Gulch here. We'll try to get our own gigantic creature this way. Okay, so they're putting up quite the fight here, right? Uh, we really missed with Make Your Own Luck, which really, there is a lot of luck to Make Your Own Luck, right? We hit, we hit Bonnie Powell the first time we cast it. Jace, so Jace loots. You could plot a card that costs three or less from your hand, and then the ultimate is you can you cast double spells one turn. Lock picker, they have Dance of the Tumbleweeds and Seize the Secret. So probably Dance of the Tumbleweeds next turn, be my guess. Because they can get another big creature. For the 6-6, six, six, we have Tyrant Scorn. Bristly Bill. Okay, so this works with Blood Hustler too. But we do have to attack with Tumblewag to get it to trigger. So let's get Tumblewag a little bigger. Of 
Play a land. Target Tumblewag. Pay five, double the amount of 1-1 one, one counters and target creature you control. Uh, okay, nice. Don't want that. So we still can't attack with uh, Tumblewag here. We could play Bristle Bandit, then we couldn't Blood Hustler. I don't think we need the Hard Bristle Bandit right now. It does help with the green. We are going to have a lot of 1-1 one -one counters on our creatures. Yeah, I think this is better actually. So this will be a 5-5. Five five. When I attack with it, it will be a 7-7. Seven seven. I'm not going to attack with it this turn. Let's put another counter on it. We'll have another land for Bristly Bill to trigger next turn and pay 5 to double it. Uh, Ornery Tumblewag will put 3 next turn. And then we'll attack with it. It'll have 6. Then we could double it. It'll have 12. So this could be a 14-14 next turn. It's a bummer. Okay, they get their own plus one, plus one counters. So we have to deal with that dust animus for sure. We're dead in a couple turns from it. Even no matter how big our creatures on the ground are. We have our, our cactus cards in the bottom of our deck as well. So I can pay five. Yeah, I think I want to pay five. Yeah, we need to draw something for Dust Animus, and we need to do it very soon. Uh, Burying the Garden works. Cactarantula's on the bottom of our deck. Uh, they're going to cast Fractured Identity on us or whatever. All right, so it's possible for us to lose, guys. Now they're going to play a land. Um, so... Tycoon. Okay. I mean, we need a removal spell from the Dust Animus here, or we lose. Simple as that. And they're going to 29. So yeah, we don't think we can win this game. We need... What did I say? We need Buried in the Garden, essentially. Or we lose, I think. I mean, that that <laughs> that works, guys. Uh, I don't know if we're still dead, but... We're alive, I think. Not holding my breath on this game, but... They have double Jace as well. I can't race Bristly Brill uh, and Tumblewag as well. Okay, all in on Dust Animus. Okay, so we have to kill this. So this is a this is a huge kind of kill here. We'll block here. Um, how many creatures of power four or greater do I have left? I have Bonnie Pal, Cac Tarantulas on the bottom of my deck, Hostile Investigator. It's like two choices. Yeah, I think we'll block here.
Um, they have, they can double the amount of counters on this and make this a 6-4. So this still trades. I'm not even killing it. I should just jump block. Alright, kill Dust Animus. Flow to black. Trigger this. Trigger it again. Okay, just got to do that 27 more times. All right, we're alive. They are severely beaten up. Um, but... Yeah, that's not, not a perfect rip. <laughs> we need some help. Okay. 6-4 is going to become a problem. Just like Bonnie... Uh-oh, double spells. Mm-hmm. They have another spell too. Yeah. Yep. They're gonna make that the seven's not big enough. Silver Deputy makes it eight, okay. That's still not big enough. Because we have Hustler. But they can pay, they still can pay um, the five to double the amount of counters on it, so. Okay. All right, 26 more to go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I should just scoop, really, but we got to play it out. We have a chump blocker for that. We're at 10 health. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Couldn't be a 4-4, four, four, so I could trigger this at least once. Yeah, we don't have an out. Like, if we had Wrath in our deck, it'd be really, it makes sense for playing this out, but. Well, if I draw a land next turn, I should probably just scoop, right? They're gaining a bunch of life now, too. This is. All right, so we got a block there. We block here, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Okay. Good game. Close. No tamale. That's lethal, right? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I knew it was. Wrong. I'm like, those are all even numbers. I don't know why I kept saying eleven. I'm looking. I'm like two, two, two. Okay. <clears throat> All right, we finally lost. Uh, their deck looks good for sure. Definitely a strong deck. So they didn't have a buried in the garden. Um, I think we probably just overwhelmed them with the rhino, but it's okay, no big deal. Danny G, we just played somebody J, something J. Now we got Danny G. Wow. Okay, so this is cool. Cool hand. I'm just like so confused what I play first. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's probably right. So let's draw an untapped land this turn. Would be be super nice. All right, so we'll play Blood Hustler. The next turn we play Bristly Bill into the Heath card. 
No deserts do is nice. Bristly Bill. Okay, we'll make Bristly Bill a 3 3, Blood Hustlers a 2 2. And we'll pass. Conduit Pylons next turn with Tyrant Scorn Mana open. So we can get two more 1 1 counters again. And then turn five, Cactarantula. Take three. Uh, that's good. Do I play that? Or. I mean, Tyrant Scorn. We don't really need Tyrant Scorn right now, right? Bandit. I'm going to make Bristly Bill a 4-4. Four, four. But like if they attack, I'm going to I'm going to get rid of it. Or right, I only have one blue now. I guess I have the bandit, right? I don't need that. So I'm going to attack now with Bristly Bill because I'm not going to block if they swing back. Now that I did it, I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have, right? Because maybe they just wouldn't have attacked. I'm okay taking six here. We have five mana next turn, so it's almost definitely we should play Cactarantula. Cool. Yeah, they probably wouldn't have attacked, given they didn't attack with a 3 1. Do they have um, Trample the Garden? Trample the Garden. Pay two mana, draw two cards right now. When you're playing at the arena open, you should probably be in full control too. Like, I could bluff that I have something right now. Could have a Skullduggery. Trash the town, okay. If I cast, uh, actually, I could play Tyrant Scorn and Cactarantula, right? Pump up the Blood Hustler. Yeah. Tyrant Scorn. Three, four, yeah. Kill that. Prime up. Play our cactus. Let's attack for eight first. They go to six. We play our cactus and hope they don't play a wrath next turn. But if they do, we have more inner surprise, but we, we probably lose if they cast wrath here, right? It's definitely still the right play. It's not like they've showed any indication they have a Wrath. We just killed their 5-5 five, five creature or something. They kill Bristly Bill, not Cactarantula. Uh, okay. Can even attack here. They can't really block here. Yeah, they can't block here. So yeah, let's attack. Gotcha! Okay, you lose, I guess. That's weird. Weird punt, bro. Okay. I outsmarted Danny G. It's okay, I mean, we probably win that game anyway, right? Alright, 6-1, playing Woebringer. I'm going to keep it. It's not amazing, but we have plenty of interaction with Blood Hustler. It may even be worth playing Blood Hustler on turn three. Uh, hand's a lot better now.
Yeah, I think maybe Blood Hustler on turn three and Brigand on turn four is for the same reason to have Snakeskin Veil mana open. I don't know if they play like a three one this turn. Or maybe I, maybe I don't want to do that, but. I guess Blood Hustler is my third most valuable creature here. So I think Brigand next and then Tumblewag with Snakes in Veil mana open. Okay, we go to 16. Prickly pair, okay. Scorn is good. All right, so we'll take four more damage. We'll go to 12 and then we'll stabilize. Duelist, sure. Okay, sure. We're gonna pump up Tumblewag here. We want to pass as quickly as possible so they don't think we have Snakes in Veil. I'll take three. Blocking and then playing Snakeskin Veil, pretty risky. Uh, Alright, kind of do the same thing again, just we have Tyrant Scorn mana open and Snakeskin Veil. Okay, they'll ping us for one, we go to eight. Okay, can't do this uh, forever, that's for sure. Second Lackey. So we have Desperate Bloodseeker for life gain. Oasis Gardener for life gain. I thought we had something else too. But I guess we don't. Oh, Blood Hustler. Okay, I knew there was something else. All right, they just pass. Let's play Tyrant Scorn on Deadeye Duelist. So they stop pinging us. We have Snakeskin Veil mana open if they want to respond. We could have just uh, triggered the Blood Hustler, but then we'd be tapped out with Snakeskin Veil. And again, if we were in full control now, we would stop that we have Snakeskin Veil. Um, I think casting Make Your Own Luck is the play here. I don't love how much mana they have untapped, but we need to hit something here. Not great. All right, so let's hope uh, they don't play like a holy cow this turn and then follow it up with something else. Like, I don't want to see holy cow. Okay, that's fine. That's not so bad. Do they have the plus two plus O card? Uh, we are dead. Okay. Um, yeah, I, we didn't play bad, right? They just had to tap all their mana for that. Okay. Yeah, I guess they got a little luckier than us. Not a big deal. Six two going in the last game. KZHT.
It's good, right? I mean, we have black, we have green, we have white. We have bristle, hard bristle bandit. We could do turn four gem lightfoot. Maybe turn four. Make your own luck, maybe. We'll see. Not sure. It might be worth just playing another hard bristle bandit. This so next turn we'll have four mana open. Probably Gem Lightfoot is better, I think, right? Especially if we draw a land here, that means we could do turn five, make your own luck. Looks like they're pretty slow, but they'll probably have a ton of bombs, right? If they play blue land into black green land into silver deputy, that's probably like red white. Okay, conduit pylons, may as well. Yeah, I think it's so if we play if we play Hard Bristle Bandit this turn. Next turn we'll have six mana. What are we gonna do with six mana? Probably just play Make Your Own Luck anyway. I think uh, this is good. Three three flying vigilance. There's a red, so there are at least four colors. Okay, that's fine. Play Conduit of Pylons next turn. Tumblewag's really good. Uh, I think I'd rather play Hard Bristle Bandit and Tumblewag's here. Okay, six mana next turn. They kill Tumblewag, we could Rutstein it back into play. Lazav, that makes Rutstein worse. Oh. Alright man, pick your poison. I imagine they'll pick, uh, yeah, make your own luck. Because Rutstein's way worse now. Like, land is way worse there. I think we just play everything. Go all in with the tumble wag. Six six. Okay, so we have three, four, five, six, seven mana. Uh, good draw, I think. So this is going to have another counter, so it's a 7-7, seven, seven, and then we'll double it. It'll be a 12-12. Twelve, twelve. Uh, yeah, okay. Same kind of thing again here. Uh, I think we can win now that we have Snakeskin Veil. feel pretty good about it. Okay, we shouldn't need to um, use the counters on Tumblewag anymore. So I need two removal spells to kill Tumblewag. Snakes and Veil is a really good draw there. Peddler. So we want everything to resolve very quickly. Rickus Robber, okay. Uh, that's good, right? We can double the amount of counters on Ornery Tumblewag. <clears throat> got it, guys. All right, so our two practice seals both got seven wins, but I think I... Well, spoiler if you didn't watch yesterday's video, so sorry about that. Um, I think you need... I think two losses, you're out the arena open, though. So technically, we would have went 6-2 that one. So uh, glad I 7-0'd. Our pool was really good. We were a little greedy. 
I think playing white, but white led us to more fixing. I think Gem Lightfoot probably I shouldn't have played. I really don't have any synergy for it. It's just a four mana three three flying vigilance. So not that that's bad, but I'm not sure. I think you definitely could have built this. You could have been like a kind of loose Golgari deck and playing a couple stinkers. Like maybe you play Lovely Dirge and the Rat, and Pitless Carnage and both Grover, Grover Grizzlies. That could have been one way to do it. Um, I think obviously blue, green, black, I think is better because Bonnie Paul's so good. If you, if you haven't seen this from the video yet, it's so good. Make your own luck is one of those like up in the air cards. I think was especially good in our deck given we had Rollway Brawler, Cac Tarantula, Back from More, Bonnie Pal. Like you re really get so much equity if you get anything that kind of costs like four or more. So, um, great pool. I hope I have some luck on Saturday. So I hope you guys have luck on Saturday too. Uh, let me know how it goes. I'll definitely have at least one video. Hopefully only one because I make it to day two after the first draft, but. Uh, probably at least one video uh, on that. So um, we'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you in the next one.